Devaraja, heartily welcome to you. Actually, this temple built in 13th century, 1268 AD, built by one of the chief officers of the Vaisala dynasty. Vaisala dynasty who ruled Karnataka from 10th to middle of 14th century. But this temple not built by the kings, built by the general officer by name Somanatha. That's why this village called Somanathapura. Somanatha, it means a Shiva, but this temple, not a Shiva temple. This temple mainly dedicated to Vishnu, called Keshava temple. Actually, inside, there is, we have three separate, separate temples. It means Garbha Grahams are there. All are dedicated to Vishnu, but not a ritual temple. There is no any puja and Abhisheka going on. Because this temple, two times attacked by the Muslim rulers in 1311 and 1326. During 1311, Malik Afar, he came from Delhi, chief commander of Allahuddin Kilji, he looted the city, he carried away all the wealth of the city and camels and horses like this. After some times, Muhammad bin Togalak, Sultan of Delhi, he again invaded this place and carried away entire wealth of the city and camels in 1326. Jewels, false gold, money, everything like this. Actually, according to Hindu custom, Hindu people don't worship broken deities. That's why when this temple attacked by them, they destroyed the main statue inside the Garba Graham. That for reason, this is not an active temple, just like a museum or monument. In this temple, entire temple, they used to build the materials is called soap stone or soft stone technically called cyst, chlorotic cyst. When it is inside the heart, will be soft and smooth like a butter. After exposed to weather, gradually it becomes hardened. So it was easy to chisel and carve. That's why you can see around the temple there is we have, uh, seven, plenty of statues are there. They have more intricate and detailed works because initially stone very very small. And also this temple not a monolithic. This is not a single rock. This is the structural temple, assemble of stones. So many pieces are there. Old temple, they fix it like an interlocking system. It means they brought big stones, then made cut pieces, small, small pieces. In one stone, they made the hole. In another stone, they made like a rod, then fix it like this. Then I think to use any bonding agents, mortal, iron, cement like this. Old temple, they just fix it like an interlocking system only. And also, you can see this temple platform, they designed like a star shape, look like star shape. Not only in this temple platform, this temple aerial views also from the sky, it's look like a star, like a star. Around this temple, totally we have 36 corners like this, from the beginning to the end. But you can stand any one corner, you can see the temple from the top to bottom, all temple corners at just points, it look like a straight line. Symmetrics from the top to bottom. Not only one, uh, one corner, you can stand anyway. And also, uh, uh, totally we have 36 corners, from the beginning to the end like that, one, two, three, like this. But individually, each temple, this is actually each is Garbha Gruha. Each temple, it has nine corners. These nine corners are represent nine planets. Navin, Navagraha, represent nine planets. You can imagine it, instead of nine corners, there is we have nine lines are there. All lines are meeting the same particular point on the top of the temple in the Kalasam. Just like we put the point and rule like this. That for reason, this temple aerial weaves also it's looked like a star shape. You can imagine it, in those days there were no any computer, scientific instrument, modern technology, but their calibration really amazing and accurate. Okay, shall we go to the temple, please? Yes, Actually, please come close. You can see what I have explained before. This is not a single rock. You can see we are easily identified. Mm -hmm. Plenty of uh, pieces are there. Whole temple they are fixed in interlocking system. But rain water sometimes small warps or goes inside. That's why they filled the gap. Before they nothing to use any bonding agents. Please come this side. You can see this temple here. We have panels like this. First line elephants are there. Second the horses. Third one flower creeper. This is the fourth line here. We have some stories from the Ramayana, Mahabharata, Bhagavata, Purana stories are there. In this line here, we have different different gods and goddesses are there. Rama, Krishna, Vishnu like this. Lions are there. 
लास्ट पैनल देर इज व्याप एरोटिक्स फ्रॉम द काम सूत्र अभिषेक मोटर्स दो सिंगल पीस ऑफ स्टोन मोनोलिथिक कार्ड मकारा प्रणाला Makara it means crocodile in Sanskrit. Pranada it means tube or drain. It just like a pipe lines. We can see these animals also called makara, but these are not crocodiles. These are mythical animal combination of seven animals. I will explain about this one after. These are birds, so swan bird, swan bird vehicle of the Brahma. Dasha Vatara. This is the sixth Vatara of the Vishnu Parashurama. Parashurama holding the axe, but the axe is broken now. Seventh one, Sri Rama. What we call Kodanda Rama. He holding the bow and arrow. Here. This is the Vishnu. One of the rarest position of the Vishnu because we can't see anywhere Vishnu under the meditation. We never see anywhere there. We find only the Shiva because Shiva God of the Yoga. But here we have Vishnu. Just like statue in India, we have only two. One is in Badrinath. In Badrinath, Vishnu worshiping by the people called Badri Narayana or Nara Narayana. But here we have damaged one. That's why this is not worshipping by the people. It means in this position, Puja Temple in India, we have only one temple that is in Badrinath. Brahma, Brahma he has four heads. One, two, three behind one. That's why we call Chaturmukha Brahma. Here with beard also. That's why this is called Chaturmukha Yoga Brahma. Danvantari, Danvantari God of the medicine, Ayurvedic medicine. We can see holding the part of Ayurvedic medicine and Amrutha Kalasam also. First avatar of the Vishnu Matsya avatar, Vishnu in the form of fish. Second avatar of the Vishnu Kurma avatar, Vishnu in the form of turtle. Third one Varaha, wild boar. Mm. This is the fourth avatar of the Vishnu Narasimha, Lakshmi Narasimha here. Matsya, Kurma, Varaha, Narasimha like Vishnu, different different avatars are there. Around this temple, like this big statues, totally we have 194, 194 statues are there. Among those. 164, 164 Vishnu statues are there. This temple mainly dedicated to Vishnu. They more concentrated on the Vishnu. Vishnu traditionally always holding Shankar Chakra, Gada Padma, but you can see holding the different different attributes. These all are only sculpture imagination because they carved 164. They did some changes. And also we can observe all the statues. All noses are damaged. You can see not even big one, including small one also. All noses are chopped by the invaders. Why? Uh, when they attacked the temple, they intentionally, purposefully, they chopped at the noses like this. Why they only chopped at the noses? According to Hinduism, nose cut for the insult, for the humiliation. We are already now Lakshmana cut Suru Parakin nose. Through this, he humiliated their religion. Like that, when they attacked the temple, they intentionally, purposefully, they chopped at the noses like this. Through this, they insulted Hindu religion, humiliated Hindu people. Not only in this temple, we can go anywhere in India. Which temple attacked by them? They intentionally, purposefully, they chopped the noses like this. Yeah, yeah. Not only in this temple, madam. We can go anywhere in temple in India. Which one attacked by them? They intentionally they chopped the noses like this. They not com- they not completely destroyed the whole temple because uh, when they ch- destroyed the complete whole temple. People forget to do that things. They want to remember. That's why they only chop the noses and they left the monuments. Otherwise, when they completely destroy the temple, uh, within five or ten years, people forgot that th- very things. But now, almost seven hundred fifty years ago, that's why they did like this. I, this is the second temple outlet. What you see before, that is the first temple outlet. This is the second temple outlet. This is also almost. 13 foot length through the inside single piece of stone monolithic what we called makara pranala we are already now makara it means crocodile in sanskrit pranala it means two bar drainage we can see this animals also called makara but this are not crocodiles just mythical animal combination of combination of seven animals we can see elephant trunk crocodile's mouth monkey size cow's ears 
pig's body, lion's leg, and peacock's tail. Elephant trunks represent stability. Crocodile's mouth represent grip. Monkey's eyes represent seeing the powerful direction. Cow's ears represent hear the sound sharply. Pig's body represent unity. Lion's leg represent strength, and peacock's tail represent beauty. This is symbolize. Kingdom was ruled by Vaisala dynasty. How they ruled in their kingdom? Strong like elephant trunk, grip like crocodile's mouth, direction like monkey's eyes, sharp like cow's ears, unity like pig's body, strength like lion legs, and beauty like peacock tail. This is symbolize only. Here we have a beautiful statue of Vaisala Dynasty. Lakshmi Devi is Narayana. Lakshmi sitting on the lap of the Vishnu. She is putting the leg on the lotus flower. Under the weight of her leg, it is bent because of the weight. When it is bent, you can see elephant gives support from the trunk. What a beautiful image of the sculpture. Here we have Indian love, goddess and god, Rati and Manmata. Here Rati holding beautiful flower, Manmata holding sugar cane. But sugar cane is very broken. You can see sugar cane is broken now. Sugar cane is very sweet. Somebody can eat them. Sugar cane is very, very sweet. Love also very, very sweet like sugar cane. She is holding the beautiful flower. Flower very beautiful. It blossoms slowly but faded early. Love also very beautiful. It blossoms slowly but faded after the marriage. <laughs> <laughs> experience. Experience. Yes. Already I have materials. <laughs> <laughs> this temple, actually they took 68 years to build this temple. 68 years. According to inscription, more than 500 sculptors, there were no count for the helpers, only the main artist. More than 500 sculptors worked in this place. In some places we find their names. You can see this is the name of the artist. Who cut the statue, their signatures are there. Several names are there. Bameya, Chameya, Chaudeya, Mallitamma, Masalatamma, like this. Several names are there. This is the name of the artist only. After the invasion, from 1326 to up to 1958, there were no protection securities for this temple. At that time, so many things missed by the invaders, smugglers like this. In 1958, when this temple occupied by the government, they renovated the temple, you can see. This is our part of the renovations. Actually, you can see, uh, originally, Vaisala people, they used only the soapstone. But you can see, these are grenades. This is our replaced by the Department of Archaeological Survey of India. Originally, what we see in the, this, like the uh, soap stone, this originally fixed by the, or uh, built by the uh, Vaisala people also. Around this temple, like this, so small, small rooms, you can see, totally, we have now 56. When they constructed the temple, they had 64 rooms like this. They had some statues, Rama, Krishna, Shiva, like this. Now we have 56, 8 collapsed, both the side you can see. Both the side is collapsed. Now we have 56 rooms only. All are empty. There is nothing inside. Why, sir? Why? Uh, actually, why they attacked the temple? Actually, when they attacked the temple, they completely destroyed all the statues inside the room. Why they attacked the temple? Actually, before, there were no any banks or banking system. That's why public temple is like a treasury or bank. They used to keep treasure inside the temple. Who was the main priest called Dharmadarshi? It took all the responsible. That's why they attacked the temple, then looted the temple. When they looted inside the temple, actually inside the Garbhagruha, they got something, jewelry, money like that. Then they searched outside. But this is not a main temple, just like a compound wall. Suttalaya. Suttalaya means compound. In Canada, we call it Pauli. They had some statues because they want to maintain the cleanness. Because before, Temple not used like a temple only. Mm. They used like a traditional activity center, mm. culture activity center, like a education center, mm. and a judicial law okay. court, just oh. like a court like this. That's why when people they gather here, they put the garbages. Okay. That's why they want to stop them. That's why they keep they kept some statues, Rama, Krishna, oh, okay. Shiva, like this. Mm. Nowadays also, actually before it was open. Just two years ago, mm -hmm. department closed the rooms, they fixed the doors. So that statues were happened what? After Where that, there they... were no protection, madam. Somebody stolen. Oh, okay. There is no any record. No, it was fully empty. Fully empty. Okay. All the 56 rooms empty. Okay. But department, mm -hmm. they closed the door because mm -hmm. nowadays also the same problem. All the tourists comes, they goes inside, they put the garbages. 
smoking, everybody, <laughs> everything. No. That's why our department, they want to avoid them. That's why they fixed the door before it was uh, open, just two years ago. That's why when they searched there, they not got anything there. They got only inside the temple. That's why they completely all the destroyed. After that, in uh, after 1326, there were no people here because all the local people, they migrate to the different different states like uh, uh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, now also in Salem district, this as in they are there. That's why after this, this temple buried inside the forest. In uh, 1958, the Department of Archaeological Survey of India, they got one inscription in Arihara near uh, Damanigare. They got one inscription in Arihara temple. That inscription tell about this temple. That's where they searched the place then cut the trees and repair the temples and protect it now. Before that, so many things stolen by the thieves and smugglers. 1958. 1958. Yeah. Nobody, no, 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 no. Later, Abandoned. Uh, <coughs> it has been added. Yes, the village also, this is the new village, new village. just okay. 25 or 30 years ago. Yeah. When tourists start to come, <coughs> comes here, at that time, some business people, people and they come here. They know settled. Yeah, yeah. This is a recent settlement. Actually, there is we have one huge pillar that is called Deepastamba. Oh, it has almost 40 feet high from the ground level, single piece of stone, monolithic. Why they used the big stone like this, big <coughs> pillars like this? Actually, before there were no any media, television, paper, radio like this. When this temple had some special days, ceremony, festival like this, before that, temple man kept the fire on the top of the columns. It was illustrated. So uh, country people easily they understood that tomorrow this temple something happening. They just used like a TV and uh, announcement like this. God gosh. Actually, every day that people not uh, climbed on the pillars. Actually, all the four directions, there is we have four holes are there. In the beginning, they fixed the iron chain. When they want, they fixed the firewood, lit up and pulled up. We can see these ventilations, we are called Jalendra for the good lights and winds. We can see these Jalendras are outside, they design like a star shape, inside they design like a square type. This is we call Jalendra. Uh, high temperature always, but you can go in the uh, fort, inside the fort. You will get a feel like uh, air conditioned rooms. That is the character of the stones. You can go anywhere. Uh, you can touch the stone, it will become so cool. But you can touch in the night, it becomes hot. That is the nature. Huh? Actually, these stones, they are collected from the locally. From the 5 or 10 kilometers distance like this. But uh, you, uh, you have been Belur and Alabi? Yes, sir. Those stones, they brought from the Turve Kere, 106 kilometers from the Alabido. Because Belur and Alabi temple, those temples built by the kings, they invested at the more money. They used the good artists. They brought from the different, different part of the India. Actually, according to the record, they brought some sculpture from the Cambodia, Indonesia, like that. But this temple built by the ministers, he used the local artist local material like this. That's why what you see in Belur and Alabid, those statues very, very intact. You are already seen there, there is, we have this much of skull completely hollow inside. We have to able to push small stick from the mouth to ear, ear to ear, eye to ear like this. Bangles are moving because they used the good artist. That's why, that's like, but this temple, they used the local artist, local material, like that you can see, Somewhere this is gone because of the quality of the stone. So this belongs to national heritage. Actually, now it will be. Actually, in uh, September, one uh, one inspection finished. Uh, second one in April. Third one in uh, September. Maybe becomes a world heritage. Otherwise, you don't know because of that. Uh, they have three professors actually. Belur, Alabid and this temple. <coughs> Belur and Alabid, those temples, one of the unique in the world. Not only India. That's why maybe we want to check this because uh, when they will come here, they decide Belur and Alabit, those, uh, those temple one place, this one second place, it's okay. Otherwise, Belur separate, Alabit separate like that. 
This is not will be the Maradi Temple. Temple Kanda Kreis. Temple Kanda Kreis. Here is the bank Kanda Kreis. All are there. But Temple na built Maradi do 1268 here is the. Abadai is the city. टेपल टोटली Sixteen, uh, sorry, eighteen pillars are there. Eighteen pillars and sixteen in Sanskrit. You can see what a beautiful workmanship is there. There is we have circle. You can see the first circle. On the top there is we have small small statues are there. Around this circle, sixty-four musicians are there. Some people drumming, dancing, fluting like this. You got it. Second step there is we have temple structures. What we call Gopuram, Shikaram like this. Three layers are there. Step by step, it's designed like a U shape. This is our roof of the house, just like a arch shoes. Center one hanging like this. Actually, this is the bud of the lotus flower. This is the initial stage, bud stage. Here we have sixteen different different ceilings are there. In all ceilings, there is we have different different position of the flower. It is blooming like this, step by step. This is the first stage, initial stage, bud stage. Then here we have next stage. That bud little bit developed here. What we seen before, it was completely bud. But here that part little bit developed here. Then you can see the next stage. Now we are easily identified. Flower little bit opened here, starting to bloom. First stage, second stage, third stage, fourth stage. Here petals are having opened, but damaged by the invaders. Like this flower slowly, little bit, little bit, little bit opened like this. Finally here we have fully bloomed one. Here. Actually this is. Inside weave of the lotus flower. This is not a outside weave, just like a ulta. Inside weave of the lotus flower. Here, inside total we have three separate separate garba grahams are there. First one, Krishna temple called Venu Gopala. You can see here Krishna playing the flute. First they carved the miniature or model, then carved inside the temple. But main statue of the Krishna actually. Damaged one. Now we can say here Krishna playing the flute, but flute is broken now. Till start from the mouth, it's broken now. Chin also a little bit damaged. When they try to hit the nose, they damage the flute and chin. That's why this is not worshipping by the people. But we can see the statue. It looks like a metal. This is also soap stone, but they polish it like a metal. More than 750 years old polish now also visible here. But where do you pala? This is the Vishnu. Called Janardana. Vishnu has thousand different names. What we call Sahasra Nama. Among those, Janardana also one of the name of the Vishnu. We can see the statue of the Vishnu, or Janardana. What a beautiful statue of the Vishnu! Now we can see the his face. What a beautiful smiling face, attractive eyes. He wearing all possible ornaments like crown, necklaces, and decorative ornaments also. He holding Shankar Chakra Gada Padma. We can see all the finger, nail also visible there. Nails also visible there. What a detail works here, and also we can observe one thing from chest to belly. From the chest to belly, it looks like a bull face. To eyes and mouth like this, but the statue right like a toe, big toe, small damaged by them. That's why this is also not worshipping by the people. According to in Agama Shastra, small scratch also not used to worship. कटमेंट 
called Keshava temple because this, uh, this uh, deity facing to the east direction. That's why this was the main temple. Again, miniature, we have inside the temple. The main statue, but this statue is not an original one. It means this statue is not originally installed here for the puja. Original statue completely destroyed by the Muhammad bin Tughalak in 1326. During 1958, when this temple occupied by the government, some officer visited this place for the inspection. At that time, they had empty place. That's why they brought the statue from outside. It means what you see in small small temples. Collect from there and place it here. We can see these three hands are new. Recently made and fixed the hands. Color also different. And there is no profession at palm size bigger than his face. There is no relation with the base and statue. This is also almost 13th century statue, but not installed here from outside only. Those statues look like metallic finishing. We are easily identified here. already inside totally we have 18 pillars columns except these two all are look like similar but they have small small changes and also each one it looks like a single piece of stone but this is not a single piece of stone combination of five different pieces called in Sanskrit Pancha Shila Stamba uh, the first piece you can see this is the first piece called Pita from year to year second bit of the pillar called Kamba Kumba, Kati, last one Baravahaka. Pita, Kamba, Kumba, Kati and Baravahaka. This is the combination of five different pieces. Base, soft, carbel, capital and abacus. This is the combination of five different pieces. And also, you can see what a fantastic workmanship here. This is our look like mission lathe cuttings. But in those days, there were no any missions. There were no power like electricity. Really amazing how they turned like this. Actually, they used the method is called country lathe system, method of country lathe system. They took wheel, just like a potter wheel. That like wheel kept on the ground, fixed the plain stone on the wheel, again fixed the wheel, they fixed the chiseling materials and split with the elephant. They want more speed, they used the horses. That's why they took 68 years to build this temple. Actually, including Big and small, this temple it has over 6,000 statues. It is an ocean of arts. It cannot be explained in half an hour, one hour, one day. It may be weak to explain everything to you. But what I will show you, only glimpses of this temple. Just like a 2020 cricket match, highlights only. <laughs> anyway, my name is Deva Raja. After my graduation, I had been training under the Department of Tourism six months. They taught everything, the philosophy, history and Indian Purana stories also. But we are not paid by the Department of Tourism and Across the Survey of India. We are freelance guides we are collecting from tourists only. With this, I concluding my guide service. There were any mistakes and errors in my Please excuse me. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.